Welcome to Weird News with Ninja Momtastic. Yeah! Okay, so today we're going to be talking about burgers that are impossible. Because they're not really burgers. And real life chimeras. Because that's a thing now. The first story that we have today is veggie meat that bleeds. Well, actually, I don't know if it bleeds because my initial research had me looking at Beyond Meat and they're making their burgers bleed. But but today we are talking about um, the Impossible Burgers, the Burger King releasing the Impossible Whopper, which is a completely different brand of fake meat meat that's supposed to, to act like real meat because it is. It's fakey real meat. And guess what? For all of you people that worry that vegetarianism is too healthy, it's totally not healthy anymore. Yeah. Oh yeah, and th what we're talking about is a non-meat meat. Because meat. that's a thing. Yes. Or no, I haven't. Yeah. So, Atrock, have you tried the Impossible Burger? I, I don't, I don't know. Like, I know my friend Griff is a vegetarian, and he's like tried it. And then, I, I am not a vegetarian, and I tried it. And my p opinion is, well, it was moist, and it had kind of a flavor of meat, but it was um. My my stomach didn't like it that much, and my taste buds not so much. But I'm not a big Whopper fan in general, so I uh, had my husband try it, and he just like freaked out and did not like it at all. But it's a non-meat meat, and it's it's better for the environment, which is good, cause environment's good, cause global warming is largely attributed to cow farts because that's a thing. <laughs> no, um, the nutritional facts on this guy are that it's, it's not actually much healthier or at all. Like eventually, like it could probably taste more burger like, and then, um, be healthier in the future because science is science. But right now, like, to make the burger taste more and more like real meat, they kept on making it more and more not healthy because that's how you make burgers that taste more like real meat because it's, it's not actually healthy. <laughs> it's, it's just there. <laughs> uh, okay, I didn't, um, so the whole, the whole thing with like the impossible brand of stuff and the beyond meat stuff is that they're trying to appeal not to vegetarians but to people that just eat meat in general and so that's kind of the the thing that's going on right now and so yeah I tried it but I'm not gonna like it was all right but I'm not really switching to like a like a vegetarian lifestyle based off of like one subpar burger. But the thing is like, yay, it is just chatting. But the thing is like the, the thing with the, the burgers is that, oh, what was I going to say? Anyways, <laughs> so generally speaking, like women are in charge of the purchasing power at home because we generally like I know I as a mom buy the food in my house but other places I don't know but generally like women have the purchasing power and as a mom that might buy like a weird burger meat I care generally about health a little bit yeah I, I should care more but I don't um price is a big deal 
to me and taste. If things aren't tasty on my tummy, then th things aren't getting bought because that that that's how I roll. I don't know how other people roll, but that's how I roll. Like if if it's not tasty, it's not getting eaten. <laughs> it's like hmm. But the whole point of this is like, cause there's like impossible stuff and beyond meat stuff coming out to a di bunch of different places. I think I think uh, Dunkin' Donuts has a breakfast sandwich that's like a veggie sausage one and everyone's coming up with this like non meaty meat stuffs is the thing so griff you said you're so accustomed to not eating meat i don't feel the need for non meat meat but you did try it yeah so the whole thing is like this actually isn't the way that they're making and doing these things they're not actually trying to get vegetarians to go eat meat stuff they're trying to to market to non-vegetarians like myself to eat the non-meat meats so i think the quality and the taste are like almost there like they're like they're so close but yet so far i can only move one arm at a time but they're so far away and so we're we're working on on that a little bit more so yeah human monkey chimeras are gonna are are a thing now currently they're not they're not a fictional future thing they're 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 a thing that that's a now thing yeah you guys totally wanted to hear this story, right? Yep, monkey people. That that's that's how it's how it's going. <laughs> All right. So chimeras traditionally, like in in mythical culture, like you got to be careful. That thing wants to bite me. But traditionally, they were like a lion and goat headed beast thing with a tail with a snake on it that was also like the head of the snake not a snake tail and they they would they would attack and eat you because they would that that's how it works so anyways like there's it's headed by a spanish scientist in china and they went to china because it's it that's where you can legally mix um monkeys and and people because that that that's what they do here they're yep that that's that's a thing that that is a weird thing yep yep devolve us puppy monkey baby yep no no it's it's not a puppy monkey it's 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 just a monkey baby yep monkey monkey baby yeah it it it's a it's a thing. Then it's there. <laughs> okay. Shoot, let me let me look at my notes real quick on this one because it's kind of creepy in all the the weird ways. So yeah, the the goal in doing this is to make human organs for transplant. They're not making human organs for like healthy people. They're making human organs because I like my organs. My organs, they're all working currently, which makes me happy. But they're making human organs for people that don't have organs because dealing with human organ system stuff in China. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's, that's how it goes. Like a holster lake, like rubber. Oh. Wow, chat, chat, like, I just, I just started looking at chat, and you guys are, you guys are fun. That, 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 that's just the truth of the matter. You guys, you guys are fun. All right, like, this is an actual thing. They're, they're taking human, human cells and putting them into monkey embryos and seeing what happens. 
I am unaware, by the way, of whether or not any of these scientists has ever seen or heard of Planet of the Apes. But I'm not saying this is this is going to directly result in Planet of the Apes type level of things. But um, just to let you know, if there was a step one in the process, this this might be step one. And with the robot monkey baby. Okay. I should have thought this out more. I literally, like, planned and put this together this morning. So, yeah. Things, stuff, robot monkey babies, and... <laughs>